Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. going to be all about uh, Israel, the new prime minister replacing Benjamin Netanyahu, Natalie Bennett. So very interesting fellow. He's got a, a long history with the United States. So here it is. I'll tell you what I know. Wiki stuff. Okay, so here's what Wiki tells me about Naftali Bennett. He was born on the 25th of March, 1972. That makes him an Aries. And he was born and raised in Haifa, Israel. He's a son of immigrants from the United States. However, in 1967, so you know before 1972, his parents had previously moved from Israel to San Francisco. So I'm not sure how all that exactly works. Uh, he's the youngest of three sons. In 1976, when Bennett was four, the family moved to Montreal, Canada for two years as part of his father's job. Remember, so that's Israel to Canada. Now, in 1978, they're back in Haifa. Bennett began attending elementary school. Then in 1980, in the second grade, so he's in elementary school in Israel, the family moved to New Jersey, USA, for two years as part of his father's job. And then in 1982, the family returns to Haifa, Israel, and Bennett is then 10. So he's got a strong back and forth to Israel, USA. After college, he became a software entrepreneur. So you have to presume that he got a college education in, in along with those fields. So don't know, couldn't find it. In 1990, though, he served in the special forces units of the Israeli Defense Forces, commanding many combat operations, serving in an artillery unit on the uh, Golan Heights front. Remember, Golan Heights are shooting uh, bombs at each other right now. In 1999, he co-founded and co-owned the U.S. company Sciota C-Y-O-T-A. And what that company did, it's in the business of anti-online fraud in banking, e-commerce, and phishing. That's phishing, P-H phishing, not phishing like with a pole phishing. And after 2000, Bennett received a law degree from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. So in 2005, he sold that company uh, for $145 million. And 2006, during the Lebanon War, he served as a reservist and participated in a search and destroy mission behind enemy lines operating against Hezbollah rocket launchers. So his career is like uh, private industry, military. He goes back and forth quite a few times. In 2006, he was the chief of staff for Benjamin Netanyahu until 2008. Remember, he just took over Benjamin Netanyahu's job. Now, in 2011, he co-founded the My Israel uh, Extra uh, Parliamentary Movement uh, which uh, eventually, I think, became a party. And then in 2012, Bennett uh, was elected as the party leader of the Jewish Home Party. Now, 2013, in the first election contested by the Jewish Home Party under Bennett's leadership, the party won 12 seats out of 120. So, uh, And then also in 2013, uh, Bennett had to renounce his U.S. citizenship, I suppose, to take over some of these posts that you're going to see he has. So from 2013 to 2015, and a lot of these things like are at the same time, uh, he served under Prime Minister Netanyahu, so again, uh, as Minister of Economy and Religious Services. So 2013 to 2019, he served as Minister of Disaphora Affairs, and then 2015 to 2019, also Minister of Education. Then 2018, he defected from the Jewish Home Party, I guess it is, to form and lead the New Right Party. 2019 to 2020, he's the Minister of Defense, some more overlapping stuff there. But then on June 2nd, 2021, Bennett uh, agreed to a rotation government with Yair Lapid, I guess. I don't know how that's pronounced. I'll try to put a spelling up there. And will serve as Israel's Prime Minister until 2023, after which this uh, Lapid guy will assume the role until 2025. So that's what I know. So Golden Universal Tarot. These are great cards. This is another Los Scarabio. Uh, like I say, it must be a sweatshop of make, let's make tarot cards back at that place. Um, the guidebook is just your typical couple languages. Uh, not too tiny to read, which is what I'm concerned with. But nothing, <coughs> um, you know, astounding uh, revealed in that. But the cards, 
they're really great. And of course, what's what's neat about them is that they're kind of gilded. You know what? Let me turn off the main light that I've got here in the room because I think it sheds a little uh, too much uh, shine on these cards. But uh, you can see that they're pretty much the typical Rider weight depictions, just uh, gilded and golded up and uh, really make them interesting uh, to look at. And after all, if you're looking at tarot cards every day, uh, no matter why, whether you're looking at readings or whether you're doing the readings, you know, if you can shake it up with something that's a little interesting to look at, I think that's great. And of course, like I always say, I lay them out like this for two reasons. One, it's an interesting way to get your cards mixed up and shuffled. And if you're working with someone else, you can let them do this and kind of get their energy in the cards. And But the most important reason for me is because when I was just watching uh, the videos, I like to see uh, what the cards look like. Um, and you never got the chance to do that. So here they are, Golden Universal Tarot, uh, Los Scarabio. Love these cards. So you just can't help but be interested in this guy. And of course, uh, after Netanyahu's been in there for 12 years, and you know he was uh, his chief of staff, was it, uh, back in the early 2000s, and then um, uh, all of his political career, and so much of it appointed to him by Netanyahu, it's uh, interesting for him to uh, now take over uh, that uh, prime minister role, but uh, only after agreeing with another of the parties to rotate out of it so that they can take it on until 2025. So, if you know, I was thinking, I wonder if this is, um, you know, Netanyahu has somehow put this together so that he could get back into power later, but it seems like not because when this guy gets out, uh, Naftali, then uh, the other fella rotates in until 2025. So I don't know. You know, I think Netanyahu's out of it, and uh, these folks are just savvy uh, businessmen, and that's what's going on. So what are we going to ask? What about, so does Naftali have the best interest of Israel at heart? Is that, uh, that's what you want to know in a leader. So I would think that's a good question. Does he have the best interest of Israel at heart? And then for the second part of that, that'll be the first six cards. For the second part of that, will uh, he be successful in moving um, the majority of Israel's uh, people's um, ideals forward? So it, does he have the best interest of Israel at heart? And will he be successful in moving the majority of Israeli people's ideals forward? So those are the two questions. We'll take six right off the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's see how this goes for Mr. Bennett. Okay, so the signifier card for this... Naftali Bennett is going to be, and then remember the question is, huh, interesting card for this. Uh, uh, does he have the best uh, interest of Israelis at heart? And uh, so this is temperance. This is moving, uh, keeping things balanced back and forth. You've got one foot on dry land, one foot in the, in the water. So this is stability and emotion. And um, and so signifier card is temperance. You couldn't ask for better, uh, really, as a signifier. The And that would be the, the balancing all the people's um, wants, emotions, passions. Okay, so the challenge to that then in regard to this question is, does he have the best interest of Israelis at heart? Uh, is um, this is the Empress. So the Empress is very interesting because the Empress is very fruitful. She represents um, almost like Mother Nature, like, but like the, the essence of the people. So the challenge to his temperance of, of, of what uh, Israelis want is um, the empress being uh, the fruitfulness of the people. So he has to balance what they want against what's best for them. That's how I see that. The, the base of this reading then is, ah, so this is Cycles Beginning. This is the world card. And so for me, always a world card is a good, uh, typically a good beginning. Okay, it's a positive uh, go around. And uh, so the basis of this is that this had to, uh, to start to go around. This, this cycle it had to start. In the past of this reading, uh, okay, is the Eight of Swords. So that's feeling really trapped, really. So in the past, um, the folks that he represents were feeling just trapped. Um, and I guess you would have to say that they were feeling trapped by the government that was in place. And that was by the prime minister who was running the government. And that is Netanyahu. So that's that. In the sky for this, so the very best hope for that uh, Bennett could achieve here is in the, um, wow. Oh, what do they call her? The um, Empress, the uh, Popes. Um, let me look at what the heck uh, do we call this this woman? She's like a Popes, uh, the um, the number two. 
The high priestess. The high priestess. Yeah. Okay. So the high priestess is in the sky. So that was to be your best uh, aim for this. So the high priestess comes to us with the look at the, the Torah, the Book of Knowledge, and um, really has all the secrets underfoot and uh, is between the uh, pillars of truth and justice. So yeah, this is a very good place for 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 us to see that this fella uh, Bennett is aiming. Okay, now the uh, uh, future of all of this, then the likely future is a great big offer of success. So that's what I see there. Now, the last part of this was, will he be successful? Well, look at that. They've led us off in the right direction already. But we need four cards for that. And for, so for the first one, the self, self, self of his, of his intentions, will they be successful for the Israeli people? And we have here the 10, 11, this is justice. So justice is um, a very good signifier for whether he will be successful. Uh, I like that very much. And then the um, environment that justice is in, in that regard, is um, the Knight of Wands. So the Knight uh, is uh, embattled to move these plans forward. Um, it's charged with moving the plans forward. So the that is all great. So, yeah. Now the um, hopes and the fears for all of this, then, is going to be, okay, small successes. That's what we want. The four wands, actions, movements, plans, fire going forward. Small successes along the way to a bigger success is always how I'd like to look at that card. And then the likely outcome for this is going to be right here. Ah, so it's the five of wands, which is, you know, um, embattlement, um, not being able to come to an agreement. Uh, it's not a bloody battle in this respect because we're talking about uh, politics here. We're not talking about country to country. So we're talking about the uh, likely outcome for all of this is that there will be um, disharmony um, in any event. So uh, that's what we're looking at for the fellow. So I am no political guru by any stretch of any imagination. So I just took a headline and did a little research on the fellow who's now the prime minister, and these are the cards that came out. And uh, the signifier card for the whole thing to begin with was that uh, temperance. And the question is, will he advance the uh, uh, um, what, what the, mo the majority of Israelis want? And so that's temperance. That's very good. Uh, it was uh, challenged by uh, the uh, uh, empress, so uh, fertility. And um, and positivity moving things forward, um, which all started with the the world card, so the beginning of another cycle. And in the past, we had feeling uh, really uh, tied up, really uh, imprisoned. So that would have been the uh, people of Israel by the previous uh, government. And then the uh, open the hopes and the fears. We have the uh, priestess. So you know you want to be the most knowledgeable and most fair. And then uh, the likely outcome for all of that was a great big offer of value, which is excellent because the next part of that question was, will he actually be successful in promoting the, the majority of the Israelis' uh, um, agendas? And so for that, uh, we got for the self, uh, we have justice. So excellent self for that question. Uh, in the environment of the Knight of Wands, who is the Knight of getting things done, fighting and getting his plans uh, moving, uh, the hopes and the fears for that were the hopes were certainly celebrations along the way towards the bigger celebration for one's always small celebration. But then the final outcome of the whole thing, as government always is, was disharmony and conflict. So kind of where we start. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Stop by tomorrow. We'll do it all again. Ciao for now. <laughs>